So first off, ASHRAE RP 1755, Research Project 1755, um, was a research project that was sponsored by ASHRAE, and it was done in conjunction with Syracuse University. And the intent was to look at the combined effect of high relative humidity with various gaseous pollutants that are frequently found in various parts of the world where data centers are being built. Uh, the three pollutants that were used in the research project, uh, sulfur dioxide, NO2, ozone, uh, two catalyst pollutants, uh, hydrogen sulfide and chlorine. Um, the research project is actually very fascinating um, if you are into that kind of thing. Um, there are a lot of different combinations of pollutants and catalysts and how they reacted with the copper and the silver separately um, and how the, the relative humidity affected that. Um, to really understand those, uh, those combinations, you'd really need to dive into the research project. Um, and, and again, if you're interested in, in material science or uh, operating data centers in higher humidity uh, and particularly industrial areas, uh, I strongly recommend you look into it. Um, that said, the key takeaway from the research project um, that ASHRAE TC99 has integrated into the fifth edition is that relative humidity has a very, very strong correlation with the copper and silver corrosion when these different pollutants are, are present. Um, because of the different permutations of catalysts, pollutants, relative humidity levels, et cetera, um, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to set up continuous monitoring and predictive uh, you know, models to determine what your corrosion rates may be. Um, so basically what the recommendation is, the update to the thermal guidelines here is that um, if you suspect that you may have any of these uh, pollutants present in your, your area, um, that you install copper and solar coupons in the facility and measure the corrosion rates. Um, anytime you see a copper corrosion rate in excess of 300 angstroms or silver in excess of 300 angstroms, um, the best way to cut down on that corrosion rate is to lower the relative humidity to 50% uh, and add some chemical filtration, maybe some carbon scrubbers to take some of that, uh, some of those pollutants out of the, the airstream. Um, as a reminder, the recommended uh, range, upper relative humidity, um, is 60% from the fourth edition. So here we're actually saying that we are lowering that relative humidity um, relative to the, the fourth edition if you have these pollutants and the, this corrosion activity going on. However, if you put those coupons in place and you see corrosion rates less than 300 angstroms for copper and, and 200 angstroms for silver, um, you can feel pretty comfortable increasing your relative humidity up to 70%. Again, this is part of the recommended range adjustment, not uh, an allowable range adjustment. Um, so the, the important part about this is the facility, if, you're, if you suspect you might be in one of these high corrosion uh, activity situations, the facility needs to have the ability to lower the relative humidity down to 50% and, and keep it at, at or below 50% to control the, the corrosion. Um, but you can save some energy and allow your relative humidity to go up if you're uh, not witnessing this kind of corrosion. So here is uh, an excerpt from the, uh, the updated thermal guidelines showing the scenario where corrosion rates are low. Um, so you can see here that the, um, I don't know, I don't, don't know if you can see my cursor here or not, but the uh, kind of the, the upper relative humidity uh, corner of the recommended range is now up at 70%. Compare that to the recommended range when you detect high levels of, of pollutants and, and therefore corrosion, and you can see that that relative humidity uh, has been lowered down to 50%. So we've taken a pretty healthy chunk out of the, um, the cooler, damper area of the recommended range. So uh, that's, uh, that was really the primary effect uh, or outcome of Research Project 1755. Um, I hate to, to put it out here appearing this simple because the, the research was, was far from simple. It was extremely in, uh, interesting to read and, and go through, um, but this is the primary functional takeaway for design and operation of your facility.